What is up guys, it is me Nathan Games YT here and today I'm going to be talking to you about how to make a Zinth farm in My Singing Monsters. So before we actually talk about how do you make it, I'm going to talk about what it is. So if you've never heard the term Zinth farm in My Singing Monsters, it basically means on Wobblin Island you have a bunch of Zinths. If you don't know what Zinths are, Zinths are this Wobblin right here, the bug looking one. Now. You might be thinking, what's so special about Zinth? Why don't you do um, brumps or pokes or thwocks? Well, the reason that you want to do Zinths, there's a few reasons. One is they are super easy to fill up, okay? If you look inside of the inventory of Zinth, you can see he only needs Octopus, t rox Maw, Jumpler, Penko, and Kungle. You can get all of those monsters in 12 hours. So you can get one Zinth every 12 hours also they're super small as you can see here the size of a zinth is two by two so you can fit over a hundred zinths on your islands which is absolutely insane so the strategy of zinths is just to have hundreds not hundreds but over 100 of these zinths and then they will give you so many diamonds Maybe more than 25 diamonds a day some days. I've heard some people say they've gotten over 30 diamonds in one day from Zinths. Which is absolutely insane. Zinth farming is one of the things that I really wish that I did sooner in my singing monsters. But I'm finally deciding that I want to make a Zinth farm. And I want you guys to do it along with me. So let's talk about how to make the Zinth farm. So obviously, to get Wobblins, you need to breed monsters, and again, these are the monsters that you need to be breeding. Octopus, T-Rox, Maw, Jumpler, Pengo, and Kongle. On Plant Island, which is like obviously the main island, not the main island, but like the first island that you unlock, so everybody has Plant Island. But you don't even need all the islands to do this. You really only need Plant, Cold, and Air, just it'll make it easier if you have all five naturals and Fire. So, it's super easy. Super, super easy. So, assuming you have up to air, this is from the My Singing Monsters wiki. Um, if I remember, I'll put a link to the My Singing Monsters wiki in the description. Shout out to the people who run the wiki. They're amazing people who help a lot of people out in My Singing Monsters. So, basically, on Plant Island, you want to be breeding T Roxes. So, this is just some random fur one that I have here. You don't want to be breeding fur ones, okay? This is just me just randomly having you useless furcorns in there. You do not want to have that though. I'm just going to clear out my everything because I don't really need that right now. So you want to be breeding t roxes The combination for T-Rox is Entbrat and T-Rox. I'm using rare Entbrat and rare T-Rox. But you can use regulars or a combination of the both. And as you can see, we got one T-Rox, which is really, really, really good. Then on Cold Island, you want to be breeding... Kongle. So the combination for Kongle is DG and then Kongle. So I'm not sure if I have a Kongle out. Nope, I don't. Let me try to find a Kongle. I think I have one in here. I'm not sure. I might have to breed one. Nope. Okay. We are all good. But my castle is not. So let me just put one of them DGs in the hotel. Now we can take out the Kongle and breed a Kongle. So here we go, place him down, head to the breeding structure, and then do DG, and uh, where is it? Kongle. So there we go, we got a Kongle, which is really nice. Now let's move on to Air Island. On Air Island, you want to be breeding um, Pengo. So, oh wait, no, I messed it up. Okay, sorry, 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 I messed it up. It says on t Rocks on Plant Island, Kongle on Air Island, Pango on Cold Island. So, unfortunately, I have messed that up. So, um, I'm just going to breed Pango on this island. I'm hoping that it won't make a difference. I doubt it will. So, let's just do Riff and Pango. But the combination that you want to be doing, if you're doing it according to the MSM wiki, you want to be doing Riff or D sorry, DG and Kongle. Or DG and Pango in Cold Island, and then Riff and Congo on this island, but we're going to be doing it the opposite way. It doesn't make a difference. And look there, we got a um, Pango. So, 
that's cool. And then it says, in after all these monsters are done, so once they're done, let me show you. Once they're done burning, you have these four options, wait, zap to bubble, zap to celestial, or speed up. You can press zap to bubble and zap it in. So I obviously just sped it up, but you want to wait till they're done. You can do the same thing until these monsters are done. They'll finish at around the same time, and none of them will really take too long. So it's a quick and easy process to do. So once you have collected all your monsters from plant, cold, and air, let me just speed up this last one. Here we go. Then, after that's done, you want to, um, it says the next 12 hour period, finishing off with Drumpler on plant or air island, an octopus um, on plant or cold, and maw on plant, cold, or air. So, we're going to be doing Drumpler on plant. So let's do Entbrat and Drumpler, or that's a maw, what am I doing? Entbrat and Drumpler, and there we go, we got one. Let's put him in the Wubblin. And then you want to be doing on Cold Island, you want to be breeding um, Octopus. So do I have an Octopus? I'm not sure. I don't think I do right now. Uh, no, I don't have an Octopus. Oh, I do have an Octopus. I almost couldn't find my octopus, but there he is. You want to be doing DG and let's scroll all the way down. Octopus. And then we got one. Nice. You want to be teleporting him to Synth. And now you want to be moving on to Air Island. And at Air Island, you want to be breeding Maw. So let's go ahead and breed Maw. Which is Riff and Ma. Where's my Ma? Oh, I don't think I have a Ma. Okay, I don't have a Ma right now. But you can also be doing Noggin and Toe Jammer for a Ma. There we go, we got one. And then teleport him. Oh, that's a Fwog. I'm sorry. I messed up that combination. I thought I knew it right, but I didn't. It's my Ma and Toe Jammer. <laughs> I apologize for that, but there we go. Now we got a Ma. <laughs> Pretend you didn't see it. And now your Wobblin is ready to be um, powered up. So you can wake up your Wobblin. Then there you go. You woke up a Wobblin. Now you have another Zinth for your Zinth farm. Then you can buy another statue of a Zinth. And now I'm going to be talking about what you should do if you have more than just those three islands. Okay. So we are going to be placing that Zinth there. And now moving on to the next paragraph in the MSM wiki, it says if the five natural islands and fire oasis or the mirror islands are unlocked, then one can easily wake up Zenth without worrying about the timer, only needing to wait 12 hours. So you're able to do a multiple Zenths a day, two Zenths a day, because a day is 24 hours, and then you do one in the night, one in the morning, and it's really, really cool. So let's talk about how you do that. So, starting out with Plant Island, you want to, um, hold on, I will, uh, hold on. Okay, so you want to be doing the same thing on Plant, Cold, and Air. So, on Plant Island, you want to do a Drumpler. Oh no, sorry, I messed that up. I keep messing things up today. <laughs> on, um plant you want to be breeding the same thing which is t-rocks so and rat and t-rocks there you go and then you want to do congle on air let's go to air island and breed a congle here we go oh i messed it up again i bred them all okay well i'm gonna be zapping that in there but you guys just breed breed not a all you need to be bringing Congo. Um, but yeah, also remember you can do it on Cold Island. So I don't have a Congo here, so I'm just going to be doing this on Cold Island. And I'm going to be doing Pango on this island. So let's do Riff and Pango. There we go. Then we have our Pango. Now, like I said, you go to Cold Island and you can do Congo. Here we go. 
there. Oh no, I almost spread it. That was a th I almost went three times messing up on each island. So let's do the Congo there. And there you go. Obviously, you would not be speeding them up, up like me. So then you would move on to your other islands. So, I'm going to be doing Octopus on Water Island. So, here we go. Let me just sell this. Put that in there. And then you're going to be doing Octopus. So, um, Shell Beat and Octopus. I don't think I have an Octopus right now. Let's get one out of the hotel. Where's my octopus? I don't have an octopus. No. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, guys. I thought I had an octopus. But I guess not. So let's just breed one. So the combination for an octopus is pot belly and toe jammer. So let's go to the breeding structure and do pot belly and toe jammer. Scroll all the way down. I don't have pot belly and toe jammer out this video. It has gone pretty good, but there has been a few mistakes like this. I don't have the right monsters out. So let's get out Pot Belly and Toe Jammer. Assuming you guys already have them out because you're smart and you're big brains, unlike me. I almost just bred a Reedling. But nope, you want to do Shelby. Oh no, what? Not Shelby. I'm sorry. You're doing Pot Belly and Toe Jammer. There we go. Finally, I got it right. And again, you wouldn't be speeding it up. I'm just speeding it up to save time and show you the point. And then on Earth Island, um, he was doing Drumpler. So let me see if I even have a Drumpler out right now. Probably not because I just like to earn coins. But like I said, I want to start doing the Zenth Farms because that's cool. All right, so let me see. Do I already have a Drumpler out? Uh, no, I don't. All right, do I have the right monsters to make a Drumpler? I think Drumpler is, um, yeah, yeah, Noggin and Mamat. So I don't have a Noggin, and there's an egg in my nursery, okay. Well, let me delete this. Oh, thanks for the key, person that just sent me a key. All right. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Pretend that didn't happen, guys. This video is going perfect. Can we scratch in a noggin? Nope. Alright. Let's go buy an egg. Buy a noggin. Here we go. There. Speed up. I'm just going to speed it up. Even though I could have waited like two seconds. And come on! Are you kidding me? Dude, this video has had many errors. We can't even do that because my thing is full. So let's just place <laughs> Noggin right there. Feed him up to level 4. And then how are my beds looking? They're looking like that. So please say there's room in the hotel. Good, there is. Now let's get Mamat out of the hotel. Occupants. Where's Mamat? Nope, Mamat's already out of the hotel apparently. So let's breed one of those guys. Let's do Noggin. And all the way down. Mamat. There we go. Finally, we got a Drumpler. Again, you would not be speeding it up. I'm just doing it for the purpose of this video. And then on to the last island, which is Fire Oasis. You wouldn't be breeding Ma. So Ma is these monsters. Where are my wild element monsters? Mamat and... Wait, what's Ma? I think it's... Mott and Toe Jammer, but I don't have a Toe Jammer out, so that's a problem. Let's let's buy another Toe Jammer. Speed it up. There. We oh, come on. Okay, can this Snizer fit in the hotel? Please. Nope. All right. How many beds do we have? All right, I'll be right back. I'm gonna fix up this bed situation that I have. All right, so I just fixed up the bed situation. Now I have a toe jammer. Let's feed him to level four. Also, our noggin, I believe, our mamat is already at level four, I believe. So let's finally go down and breed the last monster needed. Toe jammer and mamat. There we go. We got ma. Now wait, what? Huh? I messed something up here. I'll be right back. 
All right, so I just messed something up. The article is right, so you wouldn't be doing what I said, but I just messed it up. And now let's wake up our next Zen. Anyway, guys, I think it's going to wrap it up for the video. If you enjoyed it or it helped you out, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Let's go for 25 likes. We're going to win for 4,000 subscribers by the end of ne next month. Let's try to hit that. Also, there's a bunch of links in the description, like my merch, Discord server, Twitter, all that stuff. Go check it out, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.